What is up everyone, William H here. Thank you for clicking on my video. Today I wanted to show you guys what it's like going on a Royal Caribbean cruise. Now for us, we're fortunate enough to have employers that were able to give us the opportunity to go on the three nights into Nada cruise. And if you guys are watching this, shouts out to you guys, much love and best job I've ever had. So going on with the video, as you can see, there's a variety of cruises that you guys can select. And if you guys have the funds to do it, I highly recommend you guys try it out. This is my first time being on the cruise guys. So you know, I had to record it and as you can see on the screen, you have options. You can choose the interior, the outside view, the balcony, and they also have suites available inside the cruise if you would like. There's definitely a variety of options that you can do. Now let's go ahead and go on with the video. But before you do, don't forget to subscribe, 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 and like my video. And I hope you guys enjoy had a bit of traveling to do we had to leave by 5 30 so we can get there at a good time and as you can see nothing but beautiful sights up ahead um, we got out of the central valley we slowly creeped into the big city of la and then we ended up going to the coast to the port to be exact and look at that thing massive i've never felt so small in my life guys there's already people waiting in line, which is no issue is, you know, to be expected. And look at that. Look at how big that thing is. Anyways, we were able to get everything checked in, got on the dock. A lot of people here. A lot of people. Now, one thing about cruises is that there is always something happening in every hour of the day. So for us, at this time that we got on board, they were already giving out food. So that's the first thing that we went to do. Get ourselves something to eat because we were starving. So after we got a bite to eat, you know, we just went around and looked at the cruise really, see what it had to offer. So far so good, so far so good. Now, you know me, I had to check out the gym inside the cruise. And I gotta say, 
I was pretty impressed. I mean, look at all this equipment. Real nice stuff. After we were done exploring the outside, it was time to explore the inside. In our case, our room. And now a tour of the room. Now, as you can see, we're on deck four and you know, not too bad. You know, my first impression was like, oh, real compact. But you know, what do you expect? There's thousands of people on the cruise. So, you know, they had to fit everybody in the room somehow, some way. So. Look at that, starting off with the restroom, they had two cups for I don't know what, but the bed, queen size I believe, and then look at this mirror, oh yeah, who is that guy, and they had a nice little TV there, they didn't have too many channels to watch, but I mean we weren't really going to be in the room for that long, and they had a little couch, a little furniture going on, show you guys exactly what's going on, and we were able to get an inside room. So meaning like we're able to see inside the cruise and look at that, you know, it's not too big, but it's not too small. You know, I can't complain. And we we're lucky enough to get a room right above the casino. And on the cruise, they have a little going away party. So basically the cruise leaving the port of Los Angeles. And as you can see, my girl getting it. Uh, uh, pa 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 Yeah, it's a party up in here. But yeah, guys, overall, the going away party was pretty nice. And as you can see, everybody was around the ship just looking at the ocean. When you leave the port, you actually feel the ship moving. Like, it moves pretty quick. I don't know how quick it was going. But I felt every single wave that that ship endured. But anyways, we were getting hungry. It was getting late. It was time for dinner. And look at this beautiful place. They had this fancy dining room on deck three. And if I'm being honest, it was A1 customer service. The people there serving you were nothing but respectful, nothing but helpful. And one of the best customer experience service that I've ever had. A1 for sure. After we were done with dinner, we went outside and did a little bit more of exploring. It gave me a lot of mall vibes. Like a bunch of the stuff they were offering was either to buy or consume, right? Which is nothing wrong with that, right? But just to give you guys a heads up, you know, um, they do offer things at a discount. Um, I believe you get some taxes cut off from the original price, you know, since we're technically not on land and we're in the middle of the sea, you know, um, there's no taxes involved.
Now, you might be thinking, is that a casino? Yes, the answer is yes. This thing is so huge that they have a whole casino within the cruise. I was so fascinated by this. I was like, how is that even possible? But anyways, we kept on exploring. We found a little bit of live music. Upon exploring the ship, we did come upon this art room, which was pretty nice. A lot of good stuff. After a full night, you know, I wasn't able to sleep all that good. Um, the next morning, we woke up in the port of Ensenada. And if you would just take a second and look, real beautiful. Nothing but views on the cruise. Now, there will be another video coming out the following week about the Ensenada um, tour. But in this video, I'm going to just keep it cruise related. And as you can see, we did have a little bit of a breakfast before we left the cruise. What is one thing you wish you knew before you came on here? I wish I knew where the One Piece was. Because then I would take over the ship and go find the One Piece your hands together for your hard-working waiters, assistant waiters, and chefs. One thing that really stood out about the cruise experience is that the waiters, the cooks, the servants, the bus boys, everybody got together and did a little bit of a dance for us which was pretty awesome. I don't think I've seen that in any restaurant. Um, real nice stuff. One thing we were able to do is play bingo on the cruise and if I'm being honest it was real fun had a real good time we were a number away from winning a real big cash prize and there was like three lucky winners four actually the last two winners were able to split the prize of two thousand dollars so they each got a thousand dollars each that about wraps it up for my video Thank you guys for clicking once again. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And I'm going to leave you with a closing message. You can do anything you put your mind to. Hope you guys have a blessed day. And I'll see you in the next one.